السلام علیکم گائز دس از می شہریار مبارک اور میں جنرل خسن علی ود انادر ویڈیو آف مائی ٹیک اینڈ دی سبجیکٹ آئی ہیو چوزن ٹو میک اے ویڈیو ٹو ڈے اٹ اٹ ریلیٹس دی آن گوئنگ سچویشن آف غزہ آف دی ہیومن ٹریجڈی کیٹاسٹرفی آف دی ڈسٹرکشن آف ہیومن لائف بائی اسرائیل اینڈ دی کریمنل سائلنس آف یو ایس اے یو کے ای یو اور شوڈ آئی سے ان ادر ورڈس دی کرسچن ورلڈ اور دی کرسچن کنٹریز اٹ از دا سبجیکٹ آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس اور دا سبجیکٹ آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ از کرسچن زائنزم اور کرسچن زائنسٹ اٹ از اے ویری پاپولر سبجیکٹ اور اے ویری پاپولر بلیف about uh, in on in those people or in those circles who often discuss about the end of times about the armageddon about the final battle about the final time about the destruction of this world about the second coming of jesus christ about the second coming of hazrat isa alaihi salam the prophet isa alaihi salams so it is a very common and very favorite subject of those people and i hope whatever knowledge i have gathered or have listened or have seen on the internet about christian zionist it will be very helpful in the next uh, few minutes i'm going to cover, going to talk about the uh, subject in bit of detail or the knowledge i am going to share or share my point of view about the christian zionist and why and it will also answer this very important subject or this very important question that why usa uk or any big eu states like france germany uh, spain italy any eu state the big eu states like france germany france germany are the biggest states in europe or the biggest countries in Europe or in other words say the leaders of Europe when uh, England left the European Union so the by default the, there are there were two choices left for the European Union to be the leaders of the pack and uh, one is France another is Germany and all of these countries including USA UK France Germany other EU states why they are not calling for the ceasefire or truce or any sort of condemnation of Israeli war crimes or Israeli crimes that they are committing since 7th October onward on the people of Gaza Strip, on the people of Palestine. So Christian Zionism. Christian Zionism as couple of base, days back i only thought or i only have the knowledge that zionists are only jews but no there is a uh, important thing or i have to say that my knowledge was very less before i seen a video on uh, a news channel uh, around 6 to 5 to 6 minutes or 6 to 7 minutes video on a english news channel about christian zionism and their role in this ongoing war and their influence in USA, in Europe and in United Kingdom on the current leadership of these countries. It was very interesting fact to know that, that these Christian Zionists actually like every bad thing happened from or things used to happen in medieval world or the old world or in the 16th century's world. It used to happen in England. these christian zionists used to exist in england they happened to be your their starting point was the british empire the great british empire who used to say proudly around 3 to 400 years back that sun never sets on our empire and it was true the almighty lord has given them so much of a land and control of this world that sun used to not set on their empire and it was a record or it was an achievement in that colonial world so these christian zionists were if you start looking back dated back to 15 16 century they were first made or they were first established a society called restoration of the state of israel or the restoration for the homeland of jews 
as the popular belief in the christians and the important fact to mention here that these uh, christian zionists belongs to very important sect they are not catholics neither they are orthodox christian because both orthodox and catholic christians hate jews and they do not consider them clean or pure they consider them infidels and if you remember when the second prophet as when the second caliph of islam hazrat umar farooq radhiyallahu ho the second khalifa when uh, the uh, christians of jerusalem or the uh, pastor of jerusalem or the bishop of jerusalem when he surrendered the keys to the second caliph of islam sayyidina farooq azam radhiyallahu ho he had only one condition and that one condition was that that you are not going to allow or you are not going to give permission to jews to settle in the holy land in the city of jerusalem again and on that condition they surrendered the whole of jerusalem to the muslim army to the muslim and jerusalem was conquered by hazrat umar farooq radhiyallahu anhu the second caliph of islam so the important thing that when england in 15th to 16th century they converted to protestant or they left the roman catholic church or the hegemony of uh, the pope pope vatican's pope they established their own protestant church and in that time this christian zionism started or the seed were sowed sold at that time they started the society or campaign for the restoration of jews homeland or the restoration of israel because the protestants for fathers uh, the church by founders like martin luther or john calvin they used to consider themselves one of the lost tribes of israel or one of the lost tribes of juda there were 12 lost tribes and they used to consider that the people of england are the one of the lost tribes but as they were converted or they were christians so their popular belief or their belief in that 16th century or 15th century or should say should say 16th century was that that these jews shall be sent back to holy land jerusalem palestine and their homeland shall be established there so the second coming of hazrat isa alai salam or jesus christ can be quickened because according to their prophecies and uh, the biblic- uh, biblical prophecies and the old testaments and the new testaments and the old books and their belief was that that uh, when there is a jewish homeland in the promised land in palestine in jerusalem the second coming of hazrat isa alai salam or jesus christ as christian call call him prophet jesus christ that his second coming will be very soon when there is a homeland of uh, jews in palestine or in the promised land as according to their biblical prophecies so they started that campaign and then they began to raise this as time goes on all good thing or bad things passed to americans after the eventual fading away or the decline of the great british empire all good things as they say or all bad things do come to an end so these protestant or these were called evangelical christians as they are called now they used to believe or their belief was that that these jews who are going to settle in uh, promised land in uh, palestine they will convert to christianity in the end of times they will convert to christianity and they will help jesus christ to form their 
government but there is an important point that martin luther who who was a big supporter or who has been known as the one of the fathers of protestant church or the protestant movement of the protestant sect in england or in the world of christianity he then later on retracted from the position that these jews will help us he then formed another ideology which was a bit different from that he did say that that the settlement or the homeland of these jews will help or shall help the second coming of jesus christ in this world very soon to end the misery of christians but as time passes on these people got their ideologies were different as i mentioned all good things come to an end like all bad things do come to an end these things move to america the important fact one another important thing that napoleon bonaparte who was a secularist or who had a secular ideology he also called during his wars with the egyptians with the ottoman empire with the palestinians with the egyptians with the ottoman empire with the syrians on the syrian and egyptian wars he fought against the ottomans he called all the uh, africans and asian jews to come to his aid so he can help them establish their homeland in palestine he it 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 was another expect that he was a secular but he also believed in that thing that jesus christ second coming is only possible when a proper jewish homeland in palestine is going to be is is going to be exist there is going to exist there so he also called that in 18th century this movement move to america and the new york university's professor or a hebrew professor of new york university this name will ring a bell george bush he is a long cousin or his ancestors are related to the president of george uh, the uh, the president of america george w bush he also educated that if there is a proper jewish homeland the second coming of uh, hazrat isa alai salam will be very soon and then we all know the british role and the role of un and the role of uh, america after 1948 onwards 14th may 1948 onwards or america's unwavered support of israel in all the wars the arab world has fought against the israel it's unwavered it's unchallenged it's unmoved its support with israel because the evangelical christians believe that when there is a proper country of jews in in palestine or in the promised land the second coming of jesus christ is going to be happen very soon as you know the movement of is americans america's embassy in israel from tel aviv to jerusalem it is one of the prophecies of the biblical prophecies to be full, fulfilled by biden or oh, in 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 this video i would uh, in, in, in the, according to by donald trump in 2018 in 2018 or 2017 i guess he filled one one fulfilled one of the prophecies and the leading evangelical pastor or the bishops they are really happy and the biggest thing or the biggest surprise if you guys know that john biden openly uh, the president john biden joe biden openly admits that he is a zionist and he said openly that there is no need to be jewish to be a zionist so when they have this strong belief according to their religious beliefs or their uh, religious books the old testament new testament the biblical uh, the according to the bible or the biblical prophecies that second coming of jesus christ is only going to happen when there is a state of israel when there is a state of jews so how do you think that they are going to call for the ceasefire and 
these things will going to happen till there is a proper state of israel exists on the map and when there is no palestine left on the world map it is happening it is happening from the day one the videos i am making on my channel i know many people don't see those videos but i am saying from the day one that this war has a religious angle with it it has a religion motivations with it it is on the religious basis that israel is fighting these amaleks and netanyahu's speech clearly tells us what is the agenda in the current us house of senate us senate or the us house of representative there are 100 plus evangelical christians member the recent censored of uh, Rashid Al Tayyib the only Palestinian Arab Muslim representative of House of Representative of Democratic Party it shows you that these evangelical Christians are working for the second coming of Jesus Christ according to their religious beliefs this war is a holy war for Christians and Jews only Muslims are still sleeping very fine they are not thinking about the end of times according to them this world will go on in jolly way like this jolly merry way go like this forever no this world has to come to an end and that sooner shall we realize this fact it is it is going to help us but unfortunately our leaders whether of pakistan saudi arabia egypt Jordan Syria any muslim arab leader any muslim leader any muslim ruler any arab ruler they are still sleeping they are still should i say intoxicated of this world's things they are not thinking about the end the end is very near if christian then jews are working for their christ and their anti christ why we are not working for imam mahdi alaihi salam i don't know why i don't know why why we are not getting ourselves ready to face dajjal and allah protect us from his fitna remember qiyamah kisi bhi waqt aa sakti hai the prophet muhammad peace be upon him said that if i tell the time of armageddon or the time of apocalypse there shall be no fear left in the people but he also said i will tell you the signs and i shall guide you the signs and he has told us these signs 1400 years back but still we do not pay heed to that over leaders us over any 2 billion muslim he is not looking on to that fact this war is heading toward the same path that has been told to us in quran in hadith but we are not looking on to that but christian and jews jews and christians they are looking at their prophecies prophecies jews are doing according to their old testament their new testament their bibles their torahs christians are following their biblical prophecies their book of jeremiah their book of john their book of zakaria their book of daniel the book of gospel they are following that but we are not i hope you like this video the nor i try to impart i the nor i try to impart to you guys i hope you like that please do like and subscribe my channel and do watch my videos and be ready the time is the end is near the winter is coming the famous word the winter is coming the time is near long live islam long live muslim brotherhood long live islam long live palestine long live people of gaza long live the freedom fighters of gaza Long live Islam Allah Hafiz